So chronic traumatic encephalopathy is a progressive neurodegeneration. The most common neurodegeneration that we know about is Alzheimer's disease, but CTE is similar. But in this case, in the case of CTE, it's triggered by repetitive head trauma. And we think that after sufficient amounts of head trauma, this disease starts to develop in your brain and then becomes a progressive, widespread brain disease as time goes on. So CTE is defined neuropathologically. You can't even make the diagnosis uh, without a neuropathological examination of the brain tissue. And what we look for under the microscope is the deposition of an abnormal tau protein that clusters around blood vessels uh, in the brain. And that's a very distinct lesion. It's a specific lesion for CTE. There's no other disease uh, that causes those changes in tau protein. And that's how we make the distinctive diagnosis. The symptoms of CTE can be variable, but oftentimes it's a personality shift, a behavioral change, maybe mood changes like depression. Uh, there are things like aggression and violent behaviors, uh, impulsivity, a short fuse. Another common set of symptoms is memory loss and difficulty planning and organizing and difficulty with attention. What we see are just isolated lesions, very tiny lesions in the cortex of the brain or in the gray matter of the brain. They haven't spread to the other parts of the brain. It's just isolated focal lesions. That's how it starts out. That's the mildest form. That's what we see in the youngest individuals that we've, we've looked at with CTE. When it gets more severe, and it gets more severe with aging, uh, it tends to uh, spread to other parts of the nervous system. It spreads to other parts of the gray matter. It spreads to the deep deep nuclei of the brain, the brain stem, and it even can spread to the spinal cord. Eventually it becomes quite a, a devastating disorder with abundant tau protein in many, many regions of the brain. CTE in different individuals can manifest quite differently. Some people will be impulsive and violent, other people will feel a mental fogginess and a lack of clarity, a feeling like they've lost control over their brain or their thinking. Uh, and it varies from individual to individual. Um, we're not exactly sure why those differences occur, but we think it has to do with the location of the lesions. Maybe one individual has it in the frontal cortex or the frontal pole, another person may have it inferior temporally, uh, and those different parts of the brain are very different in what they do. So the temporal lobes, aggression, impulsivity, the frontal lobes, sort of judgment, decision making, and the combination of the pathology, where it is in the brain, determines what symptoms you might be suffering from. <laughs>